the vampire comedy combines two genres. One genre is horror, the other is, of course, comedy. <laughs> well, we know that the vampire comedy is a genre as well, but we definitely need to have something else to make a vampire comedy different from the other vampire comedies. Hollywood looks at trends, and the trend that was going up in 1978 to about 1980 was disco. Hollywood looked at disco and saw that it was something to make money off of, and there was a few disco comedies, of course, and there was Saturday Night Fever which brought disco music to the world. The problem is disco was a fad, and like all fads, they come and go. Right on. I'd rather suck than sniff any day. The bad thing about being an armchair or gaming chair or whatever these modern critics sit in these days that you might say something bad about a film where an actor or director you respect has directed or acted in the film. I will say, George Hamilton is a funny man. I cannot think of him anything but as a comedic actor. But the role that broke him out as a comedic actor was Love at First Bite. Love at First Bite was a surprise hit of 1979. Bite nearly grossed $50 million for Hollywood in 1979, and Hamilton would be a comedic star afterwards. Hamilton started making and choosing his own scripts, and Love at First Bite was one of those results. The idea for Bite happened because Hamilton loved to impersonate Bella Lugosi, and many people found it funny. Many critics did not like the casting of a dark and handsome man in the role of Dracula. Bite was a favorite among women at the time. I remember Cosmopolitan magazine finding the female role of Susan St. James as a very funny take of the modern era version of Dracula's love interest. The pre-AIDS epidemic of free sex and lust at the Disotex are very foreign to me. When I was a kid, I thought it was funny seeing a modern descendant of Van Helsing being forced to fight a new version of Dracula who is just misunderstood. Well, Count, what do you say to that? I would say leave Cindy alone and find yourself a nice Jewish girl, Doctor. Hmm? Dracula is one we root for in love at first bite, and the jokes of a woman getting an orgasm as she's bitten by Dracula flies over the head of today's millennial. Maybe get in a little quickie? With you, never a quickie. Always a longy. Bite is the funniest of the Hamilton-produced comedies. I met Richard Benjamin and George Hamilton playing off each other as Vampire and Vampire Slayer are the funniest parts of this film. Love at First Bite was such an impact on Hollywood that it took the bite away from serious Dracula films. There is a vampire loose in the city. Lock up your wives, your sisters. He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them so y'all need to hide your kids. And if you guys want to start a podcast of your own, you can go ahead and click on the link below. Podbean will give you everything you need and you can get one month for free. And thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and sharing right here on the Coconut Daddy channel. Who's your daddy?